In the vast and mysterious depths of the ocean, where few dare to venture, one man undertook an extraordinary journey. Joseph de Turi, a scientist and adventurer, challenged the boundaries of human endurance. Dr. Joseph de Turi became famous for living in a sea lab 22 feet underwater off the coast of Key Largo. But it was right here at the Undersea Oxygen Clinic in Tampa where the mission really began six years previously. So right now what you have here is you have somebody going in for a hyperbaric treatment. Hyper means more than, baric means pressure. Dr. DeTore has witnessed firsthand what a hyperbaric chamber can do for the human body. Basically, it's a naturopathic remedy that, no kidding, speeds healing, it reduces pain, it fights infection, it increases the amount of collagen that you have in your body. So he thought, instead of only using the chamber an hour a day, why not live in one for 100 days? So we wanted to go underwater to see what the pressure does to the human body, just like the pressure that he's in in a hyperbaric chamber right now. Dr. DeTore's living space may have been tiny, but his outreach was immeasurable. We talked to over 5,000 kids about science, technology, engineering, and math. And every day he found time to go for a swim. We discovered two new species of things while we were down there. But it was the research he started in Tampa that stood out the most. One of the biggest takeaways was that his amount of REM sleep doubled. Sleep affects 50 to 70 million Americans. And while his findings are now being shared around the world, he hasn't forgotten about his patients right here in Tampa Bay, delivering that one-on-one, -on -one, in-person, quality care and counseling on a daily basis. Do you have to stay underwater for 100 days to get these results? No. You can do it in a hyperbaric medicine facility, in any hyperbaric medicine facility. Dr. Deturi is excited to pass on his knowledge and experience to the next generation of Tampa Bay scientists. This is something that's truly altruistic, that is happening for a real reason, that we're really trying to help. Joseph Deturi spent an astonishing 100 days beneath the waves in an underwater habitat specially designed for prolonged human habitation. This wasn't just an experiment in survival, but a groundbreaking study into the effects of prolonged underwater living on the human body. The ocean, despite covering over 70% of the Earth's surface, more than 80% of our ocean remains unexplored and uncharted. It is a place of wonder where each dive could reveal new species, hidden landscapes, and the answers to age-old questions. Advances in technology have allowed us to venture deeper than ever before. Submarines and remotely operated vehicles navigate the dark abyss, unveiling alien-like creatures and ecosystems that challenge our understanding of life itself. I lived underwater for 100 days. When I lived underwater for 100 days, I did blood, urine, saliva, electrocardiograms, electroencephalograms, pulmonary function tests, crazy amount of tests. About seven or eight hours of science per day. Commander Joseph Deturi is a retired naval officer and PhD who enlisted in the U.S. Navy in 1985. He served continuously on active service upon various ships and shore stations where he was involved in hyperbaric system maintenance, saturation diving and ship repair. Imagine spending over three months submerged in the ocean and coming out 10 years younger. Retired Naval Officer Joseph Deturi did just that after living in a compact pod in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. And my epigenetic age at the end of 100 days went from, I started at 44, ended up at 34. Now I'm 57. So we're doing something right. We're going in the correct direction, right? So when you look at the epigenetic age, it's like, oh yeah, all right. So there are other things that go along with this, but it's just a lifestyle. Um, so I do a lot of research when it comes to hyperbaric medicine, getting stuff from on label, off label to on label and, uh, and moving the needle, if you will. Well, there's a self-appointed committee and then there's the FDA. 
there's a new group of scientists that are out there that are looking at applying those mechanism of action scientifically across a broad spectrum of things that, you know, that are out there, all these ailments that are out there, and then seeing if we can heal them naturally, without a pill, without any other drugs, without harmful side effects. His extraordinary feat wasn't just an adventure. It was a groundbreaking study into what the effects were of living underwater in a pressurized environment on the human body. Deturi emerged from his 100-square-foot pod with extraordinary results. Not only did he shatter the previous world record for underwater habitation, which was 73 days, but he had also turned back the aging clock. After returning to dry land, medical assessments revealed that Deturi's telomeres, the DNA caps at the ends of chromosomes that typically shrink with age, were 20% longer than before his dive. His stem cell count had also skyrocketed, and his overall health metrics had undergone a remarkable transformation. But the benefits didn't end there. Deturi experienced a significant improvement in sleep quality. With 60 to 66 percent of his nights now spent in deep REM sleep, his cholesterol levels plummeted by 72 points, and his inflammatory markers had been slashed in half. These transformations were attributed to the underwater pressure which is known to have numerous positive effects on the body. He said, you need one of these places that is cut off from outside activity. Send people down here for a two-week vacation, where they get their feet scrubbed. Now, you don't ever need hyperbaric oxygen at all. You shouldn't ever need it unless there's something wrong. But the good thing about it is when you get something, well, then all of those mechanisms of action are still at play. So you can lengthen the telomeres. And I mean, the telomeres are on the end of the chromosomes. And that says how many times you can replicate that chromosome. So this is the anti-aging drug. You lengthen that telomere, it can make you live longer. Now, it can make you replicate that cell more right now are you gonna get hit by a bus i have no idea right like i can't i can't stop that are you gonna eat poorly and you're gonna so the way that you live is totally different from this hyperbaric medicine stuff but if you do hyperbaric medicine that 60 times and that's it and walk away you have 30 to 33 percent more telomere length fact science no question also cognitive enhancement in, in a declining population, age declining population, 17% increase in your cognitive ability. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, and it improves your multitasking. So we're talking, oh, so I can be super tuned up in my brain and live longer? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. He said that he also experienced major improvements in his metabolism. A press release from the University of South Florida said, the hypothesis that led Deturi to embark on this project was that increased pressure has the potential to help humans live longer and prevent aging-related diseases. One of the changes Deturi experienced while underwater was that the pressure caused him to shrink half an inch. Deturi and his medical team will analyze data collected before, during and after the mission. His findings have sparked a wave of excitement in the scientific community, opening new avenues of research into aging, human health, and the potential benefits of living in underwater environments.